Southeast, we're here for the the cruiserweight and welterweight match. They're, we're actually jumping in middle of the first game for welterweight. Again, that's Chris Bradley from Insurgents against uh, Kareem Muhammad from Carolina Rollers. And then over on 39 and 40, we got the cruiserweight match. We got Charles Starrington from GOAT, the current champ, against Stephen Stanley from High Point. They're actually in the about beginning of game two. Uh, High Point is actually up 1-0. So Stephen Stanley's up 1-0. They're finishing up game one. It looks like Muhammad's going to uh, blush it. Yeah, it looks like Muhammad's going to take um, game one over here for the welterweight match. So, we're going to keep the stream going, keep on talking, and see how we're going here. Yeah. One thing I've watched, watched Muhammad these last couple months is the champ. He don't fall asleep because it looks like he's going to fall asleep sometimes when he's bowling. He takes his time. He stands up there. He's got the headphones on. Um, shout out to Jason Hale with the headphones. Yep, I um, was going to talk about that in a minute. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll, be, I'll beat you to that one. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, yeah, he's a really good bowler, man. Like it, it, he, He's got games where you're like, wow, this is a really good cruiserweight. Then he's, uh, he's a welterweight. Then he's got games where you're like, yeah, this is a welterweight. Like, you, you understand why he's in the welterweight series. But he's gotten down in the lot of his matches early. But he just, he'll run the back three, back four, whatever he needs to to close it out. So Yeah, uh, I mean, it looks like this good. game, he's at 161 in the eighth. Chris only shot uh, 167. And again, for those who are unaware of, like, this, how the series works, Welterweight, uh, which is the matchup 37-38, these guys are 199 and below. And you had to be that 199 and below for the last five years. Um, the match on 39 and 40 is 200 to 215. And again, you had to be under 215, 215 or below the last five years. Yep. I know many are probably seeing Charles Darrington. You might bowl.com him and be like, wow, how is that guy still under 215? But guess what? I wonder that too. Yeah, we, so when you're, on a, when you're on good teams in the Southeast, they, we all, they all have a trend. And I'm kind of picking up on this trend myself, which uh, you kind of got to see firsthand uh, earlier this year in team rankings. Yes, you, where we find 185s that used to be 235. 186. But, oh, 186, my bad. Yeah, well, don't, give, don't give too much credit. So, yeah, what we need in the Southeast. Um, this kind of be one of those things that, you know, one team has, and so everybody has, it's a copy culture. So everybody tries to find those guys that have really good averages compared for their skill set. Yeah, you found a great one at that 186. I did, and I'm sure he'll have plenty of unholy looks next year. Uh, yeah. At, at Mega Bowl. And he's actually uh, qualifying for the series. Let's see you share. Yeah, I got it. All right, so we got a 201 for Muhammad, Chris Bradley 167. So Carolina Rollers are up 1 0. Over on the, the Cruiserweight match, Charles Darrington is kind of just spare shooting. Something we didn't see in our world title match, but. No, that was terrible in the world title match. What is he doing? he shoot that? He missed the five pin twice. No, he um, missed <laughs> the pin on the deck when he shot that. Yeah, I didn't know. He had the two, five, eight, and there was a pin laying on the deck. And he missed the spare, but that's... All right, interesting. Yeah, I mean, um, should be a zero for the shot, but yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I don't, I the didn't other guy's not one. complaining, but uh, yeah, that's interesting. That, uh, all right. I mean, considering we just recently had a WCS match where somebody fa fell forward and didn't foul all at the same time, you know. Uh, How do you fall forward and not foul? I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Unless you're standing back here where we are, you know, throwing the ball. I don't. I wasn't there. I don't know how it happened. I find it hard to believe that it's possible, any way, shape, or form, to ever fall forward in bowling and not foul. But apparently, according to one team, it didn't. He didn't foul. So. 
You know how that goes with some of these folks. Oh, that involved one of my guys. Yes, it did. There we go. Yeah. My guy said he fouled. I'll always defend my guy. But That's right. After a match is finished, not a whole lot you can do. How are you? All right, Muhammad getting us started over here. Actually, not getting us started. Ooh, left a 2-10 split right there. And that's one thing in the world title match we didn't see. We didn't see a lot of splits. No, there definitely wasn't. There was a lot of missed tendons, but not, not splits. So that was uh, nice to see kind of all at the same time. But this is a house that carries really well. Yes. But, so the one thing a lot of people, at least in the South, are aware of, 37-38 uh, are two very, very different lanes. 37 is normally about five to seven boards drier than 38. It is, their two lanes are very different. I believe that was actually because they had a leak here with a big rainstorm we had way back when. 38 is, got had a bunch of the water that fell on it. You can't really see it from the cameras because it's super on the lane, but uh, 39 actually has holes. That if your ball goes over it, those holes just don't, you don't, you can't oil holes. No, um, no, you <laughs> and it's about, uh, at least on 39, it looks like it's around 10 to 13. And it's at about 10 feet. So if your ball rolls over that, it's going to hook immediately. Um, and then 40, we're very close to a door over here that when it's open or anything, it just causes chaos on 40. So 39 and 40 are very difficult lanes. So scoring pace might be slower, not just because their averages are lower, but also because the lanes are a little tougher. Whoa, and we have a gutter. Oh, oh. you suck. I have to amplify that for the uh, final YouTube cut. So, that was Chris Bradley there. He... Shout out, to, uh, and shout out to Angie. Yep. yep. Team owner. I saw her here a little bit ago. I don't know which way she went. She's probably, he's got a little bit... He's actually got a little bit of a sports system. They got a little bit of a sports system. Oh, well, they got one. Um, there's a few from Insurgency. That's a big cover-up. Yeah, I mean, normally gutter spares are fine when they're... On strikes, but he was on a spare. Yeah, or so, open, yeah. yeah, so that's still... It's still a little harmful. Yeah. Oh, big four over in the Cruiserway match, but, well, stay here, see what Chris Bradley does. See if he can follow up a gutter with an actual, maybe, this time, knock down all ten pins on the first shot. See if it showed up. Mm -hmm. See if it keeps the here for me. See if it's on the... <coughs> That looks like a better shot. Yep. Strike right there. Answering Muhammad's strike in the second. I'm actually going to pay attention, see if he's how slow he is, because I haven't noticed. So he, he, he's practicing for the north. He's giving a two lane courtesy. I don't think he's giving two lane courtesy. I think he's just taking forever. <laughs> All right, we're going to time it. So now he's, he's set up, so we're going to count. One. Doesn't take oh, long. Man. Come on, you're that, lying to no, me. You must have. Watch. Nobody. That took two seconds. Chris Hans takes 25. Wait, Hans is also 100 pins better. Well, still. Brian Pennell takes 20 seconds on the approach. Notice the trend here. Hitmen take a long time on the approach. So. Got a close one um, over in Cruiserweight. Um, it looks like, well, we're gonna tell you if it's close. So, Darrington just spared, and he just spared. That gives him a 164 in the ninth. Um, Stephen Stanley has a 167 in the ninth. But Darrington's on a spare, so if he strikes here, that'll be 184. That'll force, um, force the mark. Yep. So 184, that forces Stephen Stanley to get an 18-pin fill. Yep. 
He did Greek church, uh, Big Ford last time. Yes, so he's, but he's already better light. That's 10 back, still 10 needs back. eight. The Greek churches again, eight is not easy. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and Muhammad there, did he spare? Yes, he spared. He did. Got Muhammad spared. Here. Looks pretty good. Oh, that ball went straight. Oh, he oh. got the roll! Got the roll! It's a big roll. That's big. And that's a W over there for um, Stephen Stanley, so that gives him a 2-0 lead in the Cruiserweight match. So, Charles Sarrington is actually trailing. Yeah, and that's, that's was not expecting that at all. I'm over here talking about how his average is fake, and he's down over there, oh, down 0-2. What is it? It's important, it's important to realize, for people to know that your WCS match scores are have no impact on your UBA rolling average. That's unfortunate. You know, it, it is. At times it is. Um, but no more than the team rankings to be a part of it, too. If you're going to count one, you got to count both. That'd be fine. You can count both. But ultimately, surprise to many people here out, outside of High Point, folks. Barrington's down too. I'd be willing to bet you even they're shocked. Oh, that is oh, not the boy. way to start a game. Barrington just big forward. But we got Muhammad up here. Apparently this is a long time. He's gonna take like three seconds. One, two, three. And look at that, he's Man, on look, goal. I count the I count the entire time. Man, the time. Some oh, oh, got another roll. Rolled out a 6-10 right there. Yeah, so we didn't see a lot of these kind of hits in the world title match. No, but. no, we did. We saw we, we saw a lot of Miss Ten bits. That was yeah. I've never seen that. Uh -huh. Oh no, it's money. It's um. Uh, All right, let's see here. How much God strike here to stay in this game? Yeah, seven fifty. This is on that Turkey right now. Oh, that is a great shot to stay in this game. I guess if, he's got a 67 in the fourth on a double. And stuff, uh, while you do that, Chris that's has got a 30 in the second on a turkey. Very close oh, 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 bowling. So when I had when I had three different ones vacated from the average out and stuff, and I so I had them all at home. Chris got to keep that pressure on. My wife, the, that's got a hook. Was like, oh, my God, God, I, yours. I, I have like, no clue what their balls are doing. Okay, to read their balls than it was the world title guys. He's got a six pin here to spare up. Let's see. He's got a 22 pin lead in the fourth, but Muhammad's on some strikes, so start to chop that up a bit. If you're going to talk, you need your mic. Seventh here. Let's see what he can do. Oh, that looks, oh, got the roll. Got a friendly trip right there on the seven pin. So I'm going to give the balls they're throwing again, like I did in the last match. I believe um, Chris is throwing a motive uh, venom shock, the coral one. I'm going to try to figure out, or the, it's, I think it's a venom shock coral. I'm going to try and figure out what Muhammad's throwing. It's a dark colored ball, which is normally very difficult to read logos off those. But I'm going to try here. That's a great shot out of uh, Muhammad. He answered that pressure pretty heavy. Muhammad here, 97, 27, he can actually turn this into a two-pin match. This is a huge shot right now. Oh, that was big, big shot. 
Big, big shot. Ice cold veins. All right, we're seeing the cruiserweights that Stephen Stanley right there with the strike. He has got a massive, massive lead through three frames right now. Charles Therrington has gone split, 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 and is at 26 in the third. Stephen has spare turkey. And again, this doesn't count as a split, but it's a washout. Charles Harrington's not being very good um, for camera. <laughs> We're just gonna hop off him again and go back over to the welterweight match where actual bowling is happening. Chris needs a strike right here to stay in this match because I think Muhammad, he's striking. That's a good shot right there, I think. Oh, never hooked, never hooked. So if I walk, am I still able to be hurt? Okay, I was gonna walk a little bit that way. Just All right, Chris has got a spare here for at least to keep some pressure on Muhammad and make him start keep showing up. Big spare right there. At least keep some pressure on Muhammad and make him keep showing up. Ahead, pretty much. Muhammad's getting up. And I, I'm going to try and figure out what ball he's throwing as well, but. Like I said, very difficult to see what, what it is here. Oh, I think he missed a little right. Oh, that split's big. Left a 2 8 10 there. Let's see if he can at least cover up the two pins. So, the score right now, I'll get you in just a second going into the 10th. I think. Yeah, that shot covers up the two. At least get in the wood. That's big right there. He's at so Muhammad's at 182 in the ninth. I'm gonna get Chris's score in just a second. So Chris is at 176 in the eighth on a spare. So Muhammad strikes out. That would force Chris to go eight. No, it actually makes Chris mark. A decent count mark at that. So, oh, left a solid 10 pin there. So I can get him to 202. It just pretty much makes Chris not throw it in the gutter. So this sh should take the series to a 1-1. One, one. match, Drake Gaither just came down to give some coaching to Charles Therrington. Because for anybody wondering, Charles Therrington looks lost. Oh, a pocket 7-9 from a right-hander. I had to get him some reinforcement. Pocket 7-9, that's a 200 for uh, Kareem right there. things. Uh, Chris just guttered, which forces him to spin I am up. five now to win. Whoa, that just got interesting. I'm, I'm back. Sorry about oh, that. Do a gutter again? Yes, it actually turned the game into a match. Chris has got a spare. All he needed wow. was count. I even just called this 1-1. One, one. 
apparently my CNN reports weren't good. Oh, goodness. We were good earlier. We were, I know, we were really good over there. We were good. Uh-oh, that might be two. Oh. Oh, no. That's a... Oh, man. All right. We'll so, sitting on the bench, Kareem just went up 2-0. Wow. Wow. Um, all right, so it is... Kareem's up 2-0. Um, that was a 200 to 191. Um, that could be a big swing right here. I don't know. Opening the, the Cruiserweight match, it's it's a bit of a blowout. Yeah. I, I think my CNN report can call that one. Yeah, I mean. And that's well, even with him missing that. Doesn't matter. 85, 15, 45. Actually, if I'm just gonna, if Darrington can start striking, it turns it into a match, but. Well, he's on a double. Let's see if we can get this third one. I don't think. But he's okay. still throwing splits. So not only. So we were pretty good about calling. So when. Call, I'm call just gonna games. say, when Dre Gaither came over here and coached, Charles struck. When Mal Williams came over here, he split. <laughs> uh, Coincidence? 40, I think not. 40 sight. 40 sight. 40's always sight. That's what I was saying earlier. He knows that already. He's a highly skilled bowler. A highly skilled bowler in the Cruiserweight Series. With a 208 average. The 208 average. Highly skilled. He can still be highly skilled. So, so Mal Williams must be a super skilled bowler at... 228. I'm trash. Yeah. So for, the, so for those on the Southeast page, they would be able to keep up the fact that me and Mal both realize that we're not good bowlers because we don't average over 230. 230 is a good bowler. Oh, 230 is a good bowler? 229 and under, you're just, you're just, you're trash. Oh. So we're know. trash. So he's hybrid trash. I'm just straight trash. So then, Ru trash. then Rudy Feliciano must be awful. <laughs> Rudy's not even in the conversation. I see him. I see him posting. <laughs> Okay. Oh, well, this right. is, um, that game's over, uh, so that's going to put Steven Stanley up 3-0. We didn't even know his name a little while ago. No. He, he might be a Cruiserweight champ here in a minute. And he's the only guy in the entire building that actually has his his last name on the back of his jersey. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't guarantee that. No, I think so. I haven't, well, I haven't seen one yet. I've seen about 150 people, I think. But I don't, I don't think it's a great shot for Or I... I it's like fantasy football sometimes. I pick with my uh, my heart, not my head. What did, you, what did you predict in welterweight? Uh, welterweight, I did I did pick um, I did pick Muhammad to win. I would have as well. Because ever since um, and, and his wife right here, she, she's awesome too, by the way. Um, she's known like she's been here with him every match, doing great. Back. Normally wives do that. But wait no, but here's the here's the kicker to all this whole thing. It's very possible that we're gonna have what I think is gonna be the first time in my tenure, the first couple bowling for the title. She is currently in the 3-4? 3-4 match, right? For welterweight? She won that, right? She won the 3-4 match for so welterweight. She's the number one contender. She's gonna be the number one contender match like for welterweight. It. In, in January. So if he knows what's good for him, he wants to not sleep on the couch. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> now, I will say, me and Jess actually came a month from getting to bowl each other in tag team. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that. Because me and Noah had the belts for uh, six, seven months, and that was when Jess and Rudy started oh, their yeah. climb. We lost the belts, coincidentally, in here on 39 and 40. That pair can burn in below the ground. Um, and then the next month, Jess and Rudy won the belts, so we came a match from bowling them. Nice. And it would have been a rainbow. Je my, no, I would have been sleeping on the couch because my wife would have lost that match. You don't beat me in rainbow. Shout out to Jess. How you doing, Jess? Oh, she ain't watching. Oh, she ain't watching. She'll watch it later. <laughs> she ain't going to watch later either. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I won't say what my wife's occupation is either. She's still, she's still my favorite Decker. He's going he's to strike here. Uh, but my wife actually runs the, uh, the other organization down in North Carolina. Muhammad just left a solid temp in there. 
Stevens up 3-0 over there and just started off with a big strike. So I'm, I'm, so I know we were on calling games earlier. I'm, mm -hmm. call, I'm calling that match. That match is over. You're calling that match? That match is over. Ooh. That's a big prediction right there. Of course, when you have a look like that, I can understand why you would call yeah, the match. I think, I think it's over. You know, because Dre's down there bowling, and, you know, we already talked about the Dre and Mal connection and all that. Yeah, he's literally got no one over here to uh, kind of help him. Yeah. Whereas, I, I don't know if they're helping him, but Steven's got, he's got Jesus behind him. Right. Um, Zach Ludwig. Right. So, I mean, when you got Jesus in your corner, you're good to go. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's not a tag match. I mean, he's still got him there. Yeah. Oh, that's got a hook. Oh, it did. Oh, oh big nice. roller. Big roller. That was a Carolina roller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw a pun in there, too, with it. Yeah. And it's funny, like, I didn't, I, I, I hadn't met, uh, I hadn't met Cream before he got in the series and was at his, his, his uh, first title match. But, I mean, Great guy, very calm, very just knows when to be yep. around, when to be away. I definitely um, love the demeanor. Yeah, great guy. Staying in the moment's huge in these matches, yep. so he's definitely staying in, not even not even paying attention to what the other guy's doing, which, you don't, which is what you need to do in these type of matches. Right. Yep. Do what you do in yep. these matches. That's a big, big thing. He'll, he'll come back, he'll talk to his wife at times. Sometimes he doesn't, he stays away. Um, so it's, it's very... Very good bowler. Very good bowler for uh, a welcome for series he's in. Yep, absolutely. Oh. And as you can see on the side of the camera there, Stephen Stanley started off with a double. Gives him another early lead, which yeah. he has literally dominated that cruiserweight match completely. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy how that's going. Like, it, I agree. It, it, it's just a shock to me. Like, I, I did not expect Barrington and his average Barrington is a really good bowler. So even when you go bowler versus bowler, I thought Barrington was going to win this one, and Stanley would get one. You know? Oh, oh. But almost rolled the 3 6 there, but all right. Back over here to Welch, right? right Chris, is, Chris has got a strike here to stay in this game. Really stay in this match. Well, it starts I don't on staying in on the lane. Well, that helps too. Ooh. He's starting to have a little trouble getting his ball to read the back part of the lane. I think it's because he tried to move left. And balls just go like sim similar to what was happening in the world title match. That middle part of the lane is still a big puddle. Um, and it's just balls are just not going to read, especially shinier bowling balls. Yeah, it needs surface. And I mean, that's the, the thing about. I don't even know if he so much needs a surface. He just needs to move his feet maybe two or three right. He's got a, the, a little bit of that whirly bird that's going to get it to clear the fronts for him. Like that shot right there. That's a really good shot. Just needs to be touch left of that, but still get it to that spot. The thing that gets me with this, with, with, with Chris, for sure, is the fact that uh, when I was in the cap tag division, uh, we ran into them twice, him and his partner, uh, who he's talking to now, and he always would manage to come up with the strike when he needed to. That's big. And that, and that was always good. And so I'm just kind of disappointed what I've, what I've seen so far. Like, it's just, I'm, I'm expecting him to, like, B15, 20 pins there than he is right now, and he's just, he just not doing it yet. So. I mean, they are on a tough pair. 37, yeah. 38 is one of the tougher pairs in this yeah. building, especially for lower average bowlers, which these guys are. Kareem so far has made it look very good. The best part about matches, heads up matches, you're both all on the same thing. Absolutely. You know, there's no, no loser getting to advance. There's none of that nonsense. It's straight up a difference between. Cream getting up here, he's at 68 and a fourth. Chris is at a 45 and a third on a spare, so we got a three pin match there. See if Cream can keep the pressure firmly on Chris here. for another one of them. <laughs> Big strike there out of, out of Muhammad. And as you might have seen from the side there, Stephen Stanley is still striking. He 
He is at on a 279 pace, whereas Darrington is just not near that right now. So that is still kind of a blowout. So Chris Bradley's getting up here for the welterweight match. That's a much better shot. Oh, and it still didn't read. That looked a lot better down lane to me. That ball looked a lot better. Now, no, he ain't Rudy. Good try. Ain't claiming it. Fun fact: Cream is north. Um, no. You just oh, called. No. You just called him trash, and now you're saying he's north. Yeah. Uh, oh, I mean, he is north. North Carolina. He's from North Carolina. That's oh, what he meant. okay. That's what he meant. He's not from the trash with me in South Carolina. He's from oh. North Carolina. That's what it is. Well, he's no. He said, "Wow, welterweights are really our trash," and now he's saying. Kareem, the snore, which... Has Rudy ever been in the series before? Uh, I think so. Home field? Heh, <laughs> first stories about that place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Rudy's like, he, he needs to be bowling Therrington as bad as Therrington's bowling. Like, that would be a good match. That, that would be the next series we'll create, will be the ultra lightweight, <laughs> you know? And Rudy's not a lightweight by no means, because he, he about my size, I think. Valid. Just about, just a foot shorter. Ooh, that was a good shot out of Chris there, but left a ring 10 pin. Really, really good shot. Darrington just barely made that spare. Barely, barely yeah. Let's see. Chris has gotta Chris has gotta make this to stay in this game. I'll actually call it. If he misses it, I'm gonna say loss. Alright, so uh, he don't like turkey. We got it. Uh, 2-0 on it. 3-0, Steven. It's over. So, Muhammad's getting up here, and I think a big... A, if he throws two strikes right here, I'm going to call the game. And I was trying to say what ball he was throwing earlier. That is an hour. I'm 100% sure that is a phase two. That's not what he was throwing earlier, but that is what he's throwing now. Well, I did not bring my phase two this weekend, so I'm good. I will not use, I'll use my phase three though. Phase two would hook a lot in here. But he does have a lower rev rate, so. As you saw right there, Steven Stanley with a big strike. Oh, that ball's gotta go. That's gotta go. Oh, whoop. Mm. Missed right there. I feel like there should be a whoop to you with that one, but you know. Wrong district. Yep. So tomorrow we got a bunch of matches tomorrow. We got the heavyweight matches. Actually we're gonna get to start early tomorrow because Sean's not bowling, last team standing, and Nick Christie is uh withdrew, withdrew from the PBA event. Oh. So, um, yeah, he followed the Elite Series and stuff uh, back on for us. So we're going to get that match started early. Then once uh, Daphne or uh, Casey's eliminated, we'll have the Vixens match. Then we got two tag matches, Captain and Uncapped tomorrow. Which Capped is really interesting because one of those bowlers for NWO. Hitmen win everything. One of those bowlers broke, a ankle, or broke his ankle. Really? And he's bowling on a broken ankle? No. We've subbed. We have a sub situation. So who's on. the match now? Oh, hey, oh, uh, so you're going to have to figure that one out tomorrow. Nick, next, next time your buddy from NWO walks down here, you can ask him. Yeah, see if he'll we're tell gonna, you. we're going to have to ask here in a minute. Yeah. That's a little crazy. Yeah, see, <laughs> see, we drop all kind of stuff. See, more people should watch it. Because we actually drop, drop rumors and stuff and clear stuff up for people. Pop over to the cruiserweight match real quick. They're about to finish up. All right, we got Therrington coming up here. Uh, he, that is game, folks. That's that's about to be a 4-0 sweep. Uh, Steven Stanley is about to become Man. your new champion. I would not have expected that. Sweep. No, I, I, I didn't expect that to be the uh, outcome. Let alone the sweep. Definitely was not an ex wow. expectation today. I think that literally anybody who was predicting that wasn't on high point was probably predicting Charles Sarrington to possibly sweep. <laughs> but 
Stephen Stanley showed up, and Charles Therrington is still not in the bowling center. Yeah, winner. He's just physically here. So for the second time today, winner and new. Yes. Welterweight champion. Don't worry, there'll be an and new in the cap tag team tomorrow. Well, you know, I still have I still have feelings for the way the, your uncapped tag team lost their belts a couple years ago with the uh, the Mal Williams experience uh, shot in uh, Paradise because I think they still would be they uh, quite possibly would if Mal hadn't have um, played some trickery with the shot. Yeah, but so good. Shout out to Mal Williams again. Mal likes to do his trickery. All right, so as you can see here, we got a pretty close match here going on in welterweight. Um, Chris is actually, Chris Bradley is the I. The CR is Kareem. Um, Kareem is at one, is, can strike out one, or 126 in the seventh. Yeah, we got the line in, Sean. And then, which would put him at 156 in the eighth. And Chris is at yeah, 143 in the eighth. Shot from, oh. That didn't sound good. Oh, it ain't count. Broke up the split. Definitely sounded like a split. Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh, that's a oh, that's a chop. Just chopped off the six ten. That makes this game, puts it firmly in Chris's hands. He now controls it. As you can see, Kareem walking off, looks like he's pretty frustrated with himself. You can definitely understand that in a key spot. Right, let's see what Chris does to answer that. Oh, that's going Brooklyn. Oh no, he left a split too. Oh no. Oh well, these guys are having a who doesn't want to win it match. Game is very close. Very close. He's got a spare to keep the keep the favor in his side. Well, that's got a shot. Great spare. That's a big spare. Absolutely big spare. I'm just gonna use my mic and get a uh, word with Chris. Go for it. He said that one's not hooked up. I'll stay quiet for a minute. Look, I don't get the fancy mic, so congratulations. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So you surprised a lot of people. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was one of them because I know you saw. I, I, I picked you to get one game. I picked you. To, I picked you to get one game, and you swept. Yes, sir. And that's impressive because Darrington, well-respected guy, great, great bowler for his act. Well, I mean, well, I'm trying to be professional for like five seconds. When he goes, when he goes back and listens to the feed, he'll. We talked about his his average and all that kind of stuff. Well, that's we talked about that too. This does not count. We know you were trying to lower your average, but that does not count. So, um, so just like how you feel? Like, I, just, I feel good, man. I, just, uh, I was surprisingly relaxed. Man. Yeah, you look good. You used to compete in um, basketball, baseball, football. It's my second year bowling, so. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty, and, you, and you got a belt now. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the belts are awesome. Yeah, the belts are awesome. If y'all have, I'm trying to get y'all some new ones, so we'll touch back on that later. But, the, uh, but yeah, I mean, just so the first belt for High Point too. Yeah. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, Chris Bradley over here, he's trying to get the first belt for uh, Insurgents. No, they have they have tag belts. They might have tag belts too. It'll be his first single one for sure. Um, but he's, he might do the same. Uh, Kareem might do the same thing you just did the week. But it was good. You had some people here going for you. You shocked a lot of people. I know you shocked Darrington because he probably was trying to get about five hundred dollars in bets out of you for it. But uh, that's that's just what he does. But um, it was good to see you, man. Congratulations, man. I, I, was, I was impressed, and I'll, I'll try not to go against you next time. Or maybe I'll go against you next time. Maybe it's good luck for you. Yeah, that's good. That's good. It's alright for you. Is he off? 
All right, so as you can see here, while Ray was doing the interview, um, Chris Bradley doubled in a tent to shut out the game. After he shut it out, Kareem made a ball change to an idle pro. Um, doesn't look so good so far, but I think he's probably going to make a, a move off that shot. And that one still looked like it didn't read the lane. I know that was definitely a strike shot he just threw, and that ball is not hugging. So I don't know if that's the right choice either. Oh. He's definitely... He's gonna either need to move a lot right or definitely throw something different. And actually, that wasn't a phase two he was throwing earlier. That was a reality check. I was wrong. Seeing it now on the rack. So we're at 2 1 over here, Kareem. If it wasn't for that gutter, that would be the other way around 2 1, Chris. But definitely. Threw a game away right there, but he brought it back. Considering the amount of momentum he pretty much threw away, to get it back is big. Chris is gonna get us started over here. It's a really good shot, bring ten pin. Really good shot, though. Definitely, at least from the, the looks of the line and how they're playing, I think Chris has the advantage. But in a welterweight match, you never know. Let's see if Chris can spare this up. Great cover right there. So Kareem is actually still going to throw the idle pro. We're going to see if he makes the adjustment on this lane, though. He threw it in the 10, left the 210, moved right, and it looked like it went dead straight again. So we're going to see if this is the right ball choice. He definitely went right again. And again, the ball went dead straight. That definitely is not the right ball choice, but... All right, what, what are we at here, Nick? I'm sorry. Uh, yep, so Ray's back. Um, so far, Kareem in the 10th after the game was over, made a ball change to his idle pro. Um, it went dead straight and he 210. He threw another strike shot on the fill. It went dead straight again. He threw it again to start this game, and it went dead straight again. Yeah, that is 100% not the right ball. And I think he knows that. He's coming back shaking his head. Yeah. Um, he's got his wife back here looking for another ball. Yep. He needs to wait and throw a different ball. It looks like they're pulling out a, uh, is that a hustle? No, that's an MVP Pearl. Yeah, he's going to throw something different. It looks like he's going to throw that reality check with a massive amount of surface on it. It looks like it's been run through the road with surface on it. See how this looks. Oh, that definitely overhooked. He definitely needs something weaker, but he just went from overhook to, or no hook to overhook. Not a good thing to go through. No. That is a massive gap in the two balls he's just threw. Yeah, so it's a, it's for him, he's got to decide if he's going to adjust on that, because the, 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 the ball he just threw on 38, he needs to throw it in the trash. <laughs> like, if, it, if he threw it three times and he did the same thing, and it wasn't striking, it, oh, wasn't, it wasn't just not striking, it wasn't yeah. hooking. It, yeah, just throw the ball it in the straight. Just throw, just throw it in the track. Leave that ball here. Donate it to the youth group, youth program. I'll actually um, shout out one of our sponsors, CTD, and say he should uh, he should put some life after death on that ball. Because well, it's dead. Yeah. It, it, and I need it, some life after death. Even though, well, hey, yep. Chris just had a ball go straight on the right lane, too. Maybe it's the lane. <laughs> I mean, this is supposedly the worst pair in the house. Yeah, because 38 is a lot tighter than 37. And so when you 38 should be about five five tighter yep. than 37. Well, but I don't know if it's supposed to be that tight where it just stays there though. <coughs> uh, the, it can. It's, I've definitely seen it before. I've only bowled on the pair once, and it was before I actually knew how different the pair was. I was also um, slightly inebriated. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. And I went like, it was actually in this tournament. Um, the very first time I ever bowled this tournament, which was about 
Ooh. You no, know, it was not the first time, because it was the second time. The first time I ever bowled this tournament, I bowled with Drake Gaither. Okay. Um, when I was on GOAT. And then I went to Renegades. I went to Slayers. We won't, we won't talk about that. It's like not talking about Bruno. We're not going to talk about Slayers either. Um, but um, I bowled with Renegades, and I was on 37-38 because apparently people hate me. Um, I went like 840 for four. Not bad. Even though back then I was a 230. So bad. Now I'm a 210. Not bad. So. We're actually joined here right now by. Um, well, yes, we are actually live. I am actually talking. Yeah, we are live. So, and as big as you are, and as big as I am, and we're being joined by the elephants, so we're like a herd now. Yes. Standing yeah, back here. Yeah. So, we're a herd of so, elephants. Yeah, we actually have uh, Nick Soprano over here. He's actually bowling right now for the squad, but. Um, yeah, we'll just chat with you while we film in the match, but you have a match tomorrow yes. for the. You're trying to get the cap tag team belts for the second time. The second time, yes. Who are, who are your opponents for tomorrow? Do you know uh, your opponents? Yeah, Mermaid Man and Marvel Boy. Okay, no. oh. one of them broke their ankle. Dun, dun, dun. One of them broke their ankle? Yeah. yeah. Which one? I don't know. That's <laughs> I mean, what I said. Marvel Boy is kind of, you know, scrawny. His bones might be... Fragile? Is, is that Gaddis or... Who's no. the other one? Uh, it's Gaddis and Garrett. Oh, Garrett Salas. Yeah. Oh, huh. Garrett broke his ankle and I'm the only lefty on the pair? I won't tell, so I'm not telling Decker who the, who, the, who the replacement is. Yeah, and I haven't seen Randy come by since, um... Game over. Gaddis is extremely high. Yeah. He's 220. We, we've talked enough about that fake averages and stuff today. No, but his is too high. Yeah, his oh, is oh, fake oh, the other way oh, direction. Yeah. Like mine. He should be mine, a too low and he's 220. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, like me, you. Me, fair, fair enough. Fair that's enough. why when you fair say enough. Columbia's hard, I'm really confused because that's where you average 220. Well, no, no, no. That was... Uh, no. That was what oh, was the... Yeah, because yeah, 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 that place is obviously China. I will add... Okay, uh, Mike's a cool guy. Yeah. Oh, they're good people. I like I like their whole roster. Indoor your roster is great. So, I'm not sure what Kareem is doing on that one. That was a... That, that shot hooked. That shot hooked me a lot. Okay. Yeah, that shot definitely hooked a lot. Um, yeah. I do not think Kareem really has an idea of where the ball's going right now. Um, Chris is just kind of moseying along here and staying in it. Yeah, I mean, Chris is kind of playing that role of like that floater in the toilet. Where it's just, it's just, it's just hanging around. Loader in the toilet. Yeah. You just compared him to a piece of shit. <laughs> He's a great guy, but he's just he's he's just hanging around. He's, him. he's just staying afloat right now. He ain't doing nothing. You know. Oh no, I'll keep talking. You missed me earlier. If they wait till one of them trips a four, I'll I'll say it loudly if they trip a four. There's a good saying with that one too. <laughs> So right now, even though Kareem is pretty much lost, he's only a pin down. Right, but he-, he I would feel amazing in that spot. Right, but because he's not floating. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry, he's not a pin down, he's up! He's up! <laughs> oh boy. This is great. Wow. Man, what, are we, what is Rudy saying here? Something about they haven't paid their bill slightly. I don't even know what he's talking about. Oh, wait, all of the South is China? Bro, Rudy, don't act like the North is hard. You have like two hard houses. Your former team used to only bowl at it. I think it was home field. Is that where, was, was Latino All-Stars out of home field? Yeah. Exactly. I, that was Latino All Stars, biggest sandbaggers of the organization. <laughs> Even though I just got one of my own. <laughs> and for the record, they, they left the North to get away from you, Rooney. It's highly possible that. Oh, All right. well, Ooh, that was a fortunate cover right there. That, that, that was the... I did just pick up a former Latino All Star, though. Really? Elvis Bias. I believe he's actually the one who, he was one of the ones who helped start Latino All-Stars. Rudy will probably correct me if I'm wrong on that, but because <laughs> Rudy, Rudy used to be on Latino All-Stars. 
Rudy's kind of like one of those jersey collectors. He keeps getting jerseys. He just wants his closet to look different. Okay. So he gets lots of colors. But it's kind of like Sean Wade. Yeah, we've kind of got, but Sean's got now. Oh, Sean's good. got a lot. Yeah. Where else has Sean been besides Riot Squad? So, Sean started on GOAT, went to Riot Squad, started Capital City Hitters. He also was one of the ones who started Riot Squad, went to start, helped start Capital City Hitters, went back to GOAT, went to Synergy, um, went back to Squad, wow. and then went to Sub Zero. He's bounced, like, he's bounced a touch. That's only, that's only four. Oh, somebody might have shot a good... And he's even right here. High five. Right. Good bowling. Good job. Anybody who didn't hear, Nick Eisenhower just shot 300. That's right. And, he, and luckily he gave us a high decker Give a, me high a high five, five on the way to the end of the bathroom instead of yes. out. Yes. So, so that's the important thing. Ooh. That didn't look like a good shot right there. No. This game is still close even though Kareem looks lost. Chris has just been kind of lost the whole time. I mean, still floating. I mean, yes. I just, it's just, he, he's not out of it, but he, he just. All right, Kareem, bear this up. Oh, that's a chop. Oh, no, it hooked just a touch. Woo. So, if Chris strikes, it is a three pin match. I'm not confident he's going to, but just a three pin match. I don't know. He could be one of those three, six, nine guys that do those tournaments where you automatically get a strike. And this could be a strike here in the six. He likes three, six, nine. He's three, six, nine guy. You know, he'll drive all over the country to bowl over. Did he see for it? Hold on, don't go away. So did he? Did which one of these guys beat you on their way to the top? Chris did. Oh, Chris beat you on the way to the top. Yeah. Okay. How many did he beat you in? Uh, three. So at least went seven. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness. Oh, the, went a little. Way he's, way he's a little bowling. overhooked. So uh, that's a six ten. He left there. Yeah. He's got to spare that to say in this match. This game is really ugly. This is uh, a grinders game. One of those where you're just trying not to make the final guy, mistake. He's got it. He's got it. Well, these guys right here, I don't know why. These guys right here, I don't know why they're wanting to wait till the ninth and tenth. Oh, that's to, to that is a mistake. He just threw it in the gutter. I mean, he's used to that. He's thrown it in the gutter a few times. Yeah. But yeah. big spot to throw it in the gutter. So Chris at 98 in the seventh. Kareem, he doesn't have a great look. He's, he has a lot of numbers on the yeah, screen. Like it's just, these guys aren't, like, they're not trying hard. Like, not, and he's adding a new though. number up on the screen. Like they're both, they're both, they're, I mean, think about it. If you, if you were to look if you were to look at the scores so on 37, Kareem actually you're has not Kareem's struck, scores, and if he spares you would this, think that you're he's losing winning. We're seven for eight. he's not losing the match. That is crazy. Because what he's doing is this, <laughs> both these guys are, are bowling on the same thing, oh, and all they're doing is putting the ball down in front of him. And, is a survival of the fittest right now. Alright. Alright, and we're back. There's lots yeah. of yelling down on the low end. Yeah. It's, it's Apparently Sub Zero only cheers when um when they like it. So Kareem here is at 88 and a six on a spare. So Another nine count, which I'm gonna predict, because he hasn't got a, he, he's getting a lot of numbers instead of letters. I'd rather a letter. Yeah, well, well, the only letter he don't have up there is a F. I don't think he's got a foul. No, he ain't got that yet either. But he left another 10 pin. So that gets him at 107 and then the seventh, he puts him up nine. Yeah. I feel like he's channeling his inner Rudy. Rudy didn't even met say anything when I made fun of Latino All-Stars. That's unfortunate. Oh, that I don't know if that's a spare. Mm. I look like I might have fallen out of, out of his hand. So that puts him at 116 and 8. Uh, Chris still doesn't even... Uh, I, I'm not convinced he controls this game. Oh. 
No, because that's a two four five is not automatic. Oh, that Rudy is still there. They're just surviving. These, these two right here, they just. I almost think this match should just go to a one ball roll off. But this game should just be a one ball roll off. It's a rough one right now. There have been two strikes bold this entire game. And both by the same person. And he's losing the game. Yeah. By a lot. Yeah. The only guy to strike is losing. Yeah, that, that's, that's so weird. Like I got still on C4 a minute ago. If you look at if you were to just look at the scores on the left, you would say I'm that guy is kicked. yeah that guy is down 40. I'm, I'm losing, but then you're not. You're winning by nine. Yeah, and you're up two one in the match. Yeah, and it probably if it wasn't for a really dumb mistake, it'd be two on the other way. Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen a gutter in the first ball in the tenth. Rudy, if you're saying you're going to see my Rudy at Battle Bowl, I will literally throw my wallet on the table. You don't want that problem. I hope you're not talking about my Rudy. That's amazing. Yeah, you don't want any of that problem. Wrong ask of smoke there. Oh, yeah. I, that, that's a miss. Oh, this game's rough. I don't really have a lot I can say about this other than wow. <laughs> this well, game is rough. Well, it's, it's sad about the, this match too because like we haven't had a match where we've talked about their max scores yet because it feels like a, it's an insult to a strike. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna see any. I don't. I'm not actually convinced Kareem has a good enough look right now to strike. His look is not good, but it's enough. It's enough to win. It's, it's enough right now. It's just like we talked earlier in the, in the heavyweight match. 250 beats 240. Two, you know. It's one pin is all that you need. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, you jinxed him back. Tripping fours, banging whores, folks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> All right, so as you can see here, let's see. We got a max of 145 for Chris, which I'm not convinced he can get to that number, uh, which would force Kareem to mark. Any mark is an automatic win in this game. All right, left a four pin. It's All makeable. right, so makeable. This match, we're going to call this game for sure. I wouldn't say for sure just yet. You never know. Yeah, Crazier things so, have happened. So the Discovery Channel is reporting. <laughs> The only thing I can discover is that this game is over. <laughs> this game is over. Kareem is up 3-1. Projected by the Discovery Channel. Because the, the news, the media, the news outlets are not touching this one. Yeah, that's it. 146. Yep. So, so this game is over. So we are now up 3-1 for Kareem. Not often you win games shooting 150, but hey. A W, I said it earlier, no matter if you win by one, no matter if you win by a hundred, it counts as one. It's all that matters is W's. And he's doing what's necessary. His, his wife said he needs to save them 150s for when she cuts his ass soon. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was a good oh, move. That was good. a good move. Hey, Kareem, where would it been like the entire match? That's the best volley thrown. As you can see, he's even... He can't even, he can't he's even dumbfounded it. by that. <laughs> I think he's angry at himself for not moving there sooner. Let's see what Chris does over here. At least finish strong here. Oh, that's a ball change. Uh, that was not the right ball change. I think that was a UC3. Yeah, he, he needs to move right, man. His side spin he puts on that ball, he needs to be right. Get out of the body. Be right. Let's see. I'll, I'll tell y'all what he's throwing in just a second, or figure it out. I was incorrect. That is, an, uh, that is a forge. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's. Uh, I think he must be a motive guy because everything I've seen in his bag so far has been motive. Oh yeah, he got that green sniper there. It looks like that. Yeah, and then earlier he was, he was throwing a coral venom earlier. Ah, okay. Actually, that's the coral venom right there. Okay. Well, All right. So that was a 156 to 123.
That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, y'all good. Yeah, we don't need this. We don't need this score. I don't want one right those down. If I wrote those scores down, my pen might blow up. Okay. He, he just won that bracket. Yeah, Bob's got a grand he can throw in that. So Cream had really good look to end that when he what that what? So that great shot he threw on the field, he just ball changed. But it looked like a motive ball. Yeah, uh, but we saw that earlier. Like I don't, and, and we're not bowling, so it's hard to, to say. But we saw Sean do that in the World Tournament, where like his ball changes weren't making sense. They weren't on the right lane. And like I don't know how you throw the the best shot he had thrown was that last ball. I may not feel comfortable being that far left. But I mean, yeah, you gotta just do it ten more times. Be done with it. I you think know? that blue ball he threw is a Raptor Talon, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, really? You're not under 200. You're not under 200. You also have to be 18. So we're surrounded by the youth movement at the moment. <laughs> yes, we have we have dim kids over here. <laughs> he, is, he is actually the good one. Yeah, he's, he's the good one. He's already on uh, Jason Hale's unholy team for next year. Unholy team. He won't be 18 by then. Oh, you won't be. He's on Hitman. Oh. This is the only one of them. No, he doesn't. I promise. He's got an age requirement. <laughs> I promise. I promise. No, he won't. He won't bowl with you. I'll bowl with you and turn 18 because my average will be low enough too. Then too, or I'll be. I could be welterweight. Yeah, I am. If I get that five-year rule away. Oh, yeah, it's five years. Just it pushed a little bit too so far. After 18, I can use the average. All right, so that ball went a little too far down the lane. Oh, left a 2-5. We had to get rid of them kids. Them kids were talking too much. It's a ball change. I don't know why he ball changed on that, but sure. Um, he also missed it, so. so he's at 8-1, which is a 9. So Chris really needs to start putting some pressure on Cream. I don't know if Cream is even going to notice the pressure, but to just have a shot here, that actually looked better. Shot looked better. He um, left a solid temping right there. I really honestly think to have much of a shot, he's got to spare it up. That's a good spare. Mute button, they're not friends. Alright. Oh, we've got Ray back after he had a fun discussion with one of them kids. Yep. One of Hale's illegitimate children. Yeah. Alright. And he's got that Raptor yeah. Talon back out. And big forward. I really think he should go back to the reality check. Move left. I think we should make this, I, I think I should like in, invoke a rule to make this a, a, a tag match and, and, and let his wife show him how to do it because. <laughs> I, I she, thought you were going to say they could tag us in. Well, I mean, Man, you know, I would own you. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. What'd you shoot today? I only shot 640 today. Uh, I'll beat 640 today. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hey, I can, can I get in cruise away? Uh, we'll see. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, you get rid of that five-year-old, make it three years, we'll be good. Well, there's, there's only one person standing in the way of that role changing. Jason Hale? Or is it Steve Klaus? No, that's Jason. Oh. Jason doesn't run that series. Ah, no. He's, he's an influential character. Eh. He, he's a good guy most of the time. Most. Partial. <laughs> she didn't agree. <laughs> no. Nah. 
whispering in his ear, blowing his ear. What's going on there? Oh, that's that MVP part. Oh, there we go. Oh, that oh, overhooked. No, that was even worse. Oh, God. That hooked a bunch on the back end. Oh, boy. So. So he mouthed back too slow. It, it was a good and, and yes. his coach said yes. Yes. <laughs> Coach, wife, partner, friend, best friend, whatever. The situation. Next month, next month, uh, or two months, opponent. That's right. <laughs> hey, well, so the good news is the odds of a Muhammad bowling against the North at Mega Bowl is pretty damn good. Nice. It's pretty good. I get asked that all the time. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought that was all you, right, dude. Chris, I was like, what the fuck is this? He threw a strike. I was like, that's fucking funny. Jump on this. He's got, he's got, he's got any chance in this match. How do I mute? He's got to string some strikes here. Just got to keep striking, man. Neither one of these guys has been real consistent with the strikes. No, the same. It looks like the exact same ball that uh, Kareem threw. All right, come on, Chris. Let's see if Chris can at least get the two. Okay, got two. So you got count. 57 in the fourth, though. That's just, these kind of scores are just making everybody doubt themselves. I see Muhammad can get back on the strikes here. At least Mark. Conversation about he threw it too slow on 37. That time he changed balls and then threw it slow again. So. You've got to figure that out. All right, come on. Ah, see, that'd be a good first ball. That's another over. So now we're 41 in the fourth. Of the welterweight title man. Go take all the rest of his equipment and put it up. Don't let him throw nothing else. the rest of the broadcast too. Christopher on the left lane. Christopher. Okay, I got you. Christopher. No. I can't remember the last time these guys doubled. Either one. I can't remember either one doubling. How was his shit? Chris can get cover this fair. Even those guys, these guys' fair shooting has been really rough. I feel like I'm watching me as a youth bowler all over again. Ooh, okay. Covered it. This is 77 in the fifth with a 
fair in the sixth. Kareem is 41 in the fourth with strike in the fifth. He needs, to, uh, he needs a strike here. Can't open no more. It's hard to tell some of these guys. I only see them bowling these events, so I don't know what their what their normal ball change and stuff should be their movements. But that was a good cover. The cover was good. So the five spare, same as the nine spare. So he's currently down 16. Down 16 to five. Strike here would definitely put the pressure back on Christopher. Go. Ooh. Okay, all right, that's not bad, not bad. Let's the four. I am back. And Put my right. mic back in my pocket. While I was away, nothing. looks like nothing really changed from what was going on in the match. No, they're, they're still having the, uh, hey, I don't like bowling uh, match they got going on here. Oh, God, oh, that, uh, he oh dropped boy. that. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh. Dropped that right at the bottom of his swing. Oh, you suck. Oh, again. So I actually found out when I was away. Um, Chris's dad, I actually go to nationals with. Never really? knew they were related, but I've always I've always talked to Chris a lot. I know his dad. Crazy. Yeah, it's funny how that works. Yeah, that. small world. Very small world. Yeah, because he was saying this is his son. I was like, wait, what? Never knew that. But hopefully Chris can cover this up. That's a better shot right there. Oh, that never hooked. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Whoa, that's a big. That was a that was a Dushaka if there ever was one right there. Whoa. So he has got a seven pin lead in the sixth frame right now. Both of them on spares. Both of them on spares, but the odds of them getting three marks in a row. Four that's marks actually in a, a good shot. Oh, just burnt. I think he feels most comfortable in my eyes with that ball. Yeah. I think that's a forged fire. I think he feels comfortable with that ball. It's just yeah. burning up. Yeah, and I understand that. I mean, sometimes you, everybody's got that ball they just really, really like and feel comfortable with, and they throw it when they nothing else works. Yeah. So I was just, I didn't want to jinx him, but he has been really good on 10 pins, unlike a world title match, who neither of them were very good at 10 pins. So who knew the, the 190s would be better at 10 pins than our... 230s. Well, that's because they don't strike a lot. So they get more practice with it. Yeah, that's valid. So that's kind of how that, I think that Maybe works. that's why I'm so good at 10 pins. Yeah, you don't, you, you don't strike at all. I don't strike very much. Uh. So, Kareem's getting up. I'm not actually, I did see he went back to the um, reality check. Yeah. But. It's a big ball. Let's see. I never hooked. Oh. I think what he's experiencing right there is what we were talking about earlier, how tight 38 is. Where 38 is quite a bit tighter than 37. Well, and if I was on his team, I would tell him he needs to move right and change his angle. Because it's it, everything he's throwing, he's throwing it right and it's not coming back. Yes, he needs so to he's, move, he gotta, he's move right, change his ankle. You will move one pair to the right. And then you will start the figure format portion of this event. In figure format, 
literally where he just threw it, but with a couple miles an hour more speed, it would be, would be perfect. Counts three two, right? Counts three two, right? Each bowler bowls three frames consecutively. Okay. Put the last bowler ball in the last four frames. Again, after your third and final game, you will move one player to the right. Then you will go into the fake format. As you can hear, Al Williams is describing the format of the tournament going on. Because apparently people do not read flyers. And like I said, on that lane, it hooks. I am not sure he's aware of how different those two lanes are yet, and that is very shocking to me. Those two lanes are... So, the same player does not have to bowl at the same spot. As long as each bowler bowls in the game and they bowl 3-3-4, three, three, you're good. As you can hear, Mal is describing the tournament because, again, people do not know how to read flyers. Well, that's the thing with the South. We got better bowlers than the North, but we don't read worth the shit. We read awful. We're awful. to close the game out. Yep, he's not aware of how uh, much that lane pushes either. Hey, we're joined by Tynell Tate over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. How are you bowling down there, Mr. Tate? Not that well. Not that well. So, Chris has got a... What is it like? 17 bin lead. And it's not safe. We can't even call, we can't call this game. 17 pins. So he needs 14 pins. To close them out. In the 10. And I'm not confident of it. No. I think we've had more open frames than strikes. Well, no, I know we've had more open frames oh, than strikes. Oh, absolutely. It might be more open frames than marks. That's actually a really good shot. Hey, what's your word for you? So I would he, say, I honestly think he needs to throw that ball on the right lane. Well, I, I would say the forge fire is a stronger ball than the forge. Yes. And he's the right lane hooks less than the left lane. Well, he's throwing the stronger ball on the the lane that hooks more. He's backwards. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's got it backwards. And the, and, the, and the sad part, when all he needs is seven, it would I would normally you could say this this game is over, but no, he needs history, four. Well, his history of gutters. Okay. Alright. So, so this game is over. So no, it was 3-1. Now it's 3-2. Oh, now it's 3-2. Okay, I was wrong. Now it's 3-2. Right? Now it's 3-2. Okay. The, the game count at the bottom is screwing me up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but like, yeah, because it's going to be, it's going to show six when they're done up there. But I don't know. It's, it's triad. It's, everybody's scoring systems are different everywhere you go. It's hard to figure them all out. And, it's almost like it counted the practice uh, as a game. So we are now at Let's see if he tries to move around here. Oh, he moved way right. And that hooked a bunch. He really just, Kareem just needs ball speed. Like, like his shots that look good, if he threw one faster, they would do better. But it's like he just doesn't have the, it's just, Everything he's, even his fast shot looks slow. Everything he's, it just looks like, eh. That, oh wow, yeah. If that was about three miles an hour faster, that would have been 10 back. I thought that looked good going down the lane. 
So that game was 159 to 131, Chris. So now it is 3-2. Yep. Oh, that is seven count right there. Seven count split from Chris. This is definitely welterweight, Rudy. And they're on the toughest pair, one of the toughest pairs in this building, and it's definitely showing how tough it is. So did you hear one of them kids ask me how many strikes these guys have thrown today? And I asked him, how many strikes have you thrown today? He said zero, and I said, you're tied. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Chris got seven out right there. Uh, I think Kareem might have stepped outside for a second or stepped in the bathroom. Yeah, go ahead. You having trouble? Is this the only way Complete Anarchy um, puts a belt on their shoulders? <laughs> uh, I was hoping that Danny Darnell would shoot well. I think tomorrow's match is shooting, but I'm not, I'm not convinced there. <coughs> Struggling right now. They got to get Bull Jack and uh, Matt. In this building, good luck. Well, you know where Jack wants the ball. He wants to go Rock Hill. And I was like, no, nah, bro. <laughs> it's not happening. That's easier for lefties than anywhere. Especially his name Jack. Miss. This place ain't exactly hard on the left. Especially not on this end of the building. After you get past 31 32, 33 to 40 is China on the left. Because this pair actually does not have the issues it does on the right on the left. So lefties are still good on this pair. All right, Kareem, what you got going here? Whereas righties Same have thing. shit like that where your ball just goes when you think you throw it good. And that's what's crazy. Yeah, I think they've all been through every ball in their bag. I agree. I think that their skill sets have went through every adjustment they know how to make. Oh, that might overhook. So we've got a 7-0, 7-1 in the first frame. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. Stay calm and just keep making shots. As good as the shots as you can make right now. Because they are Thank definitely you tough out there. Going the lane, not in hand with a 268, a 277, and a 257 with an 802 series with Jason Red. Jason Red with an 802. So you know what I would like to see for this, what would really help us watch this match? Is if the advertisement screen just came on and just stayed there. That looked really, really good, but again, it's the left lane. Yeah. But he's, he's, he's what he's gonna do. He know how he just threw that ball. He'll throw it when he gets back on 38. He'll look at why the hell it happened. It's, it's the same. That's the problem. If he throws that exact shot on 38, it's gonna go dead straight. Yep. But Chris, I don't think he's seeing as much as that because he does play so much straighter. Yeah. That's not gonna hook. Well, it almost spun over there. So Chris left the 2-8. Um, needs the spare to at least stay in the game. I'm, I, yeah, not like it matters. They're both going to probably give each other lots of opportunities. They've done that so far. That's actually the ball I think we should be throwing on that yeah. lane. It is a lot. They'll throw it when it comes Now he's going to go to that forge fire. Yep. Okay. Okay. I mean, he's been striking on the lane, so it's the definitely right ball. I just think he should be also throwing it on the right lane. Or the Coral Venom, or just something stronger than that forge. Forge is just... It looks bad. Yeah, it just... That looks pretty good. Oh, that didn't hook. Oh, that, that, that played like 38's been playing. It just kind of... Uh... But he's also playing it. He's more left on that lane, too, than he is on the right lane. Well, that's got a hook. 
Oh. And it overhooked. <sighs> I really have no clue what their balls are doing. No. We need to change his name from Deshaka to the Chop. You're not blocking your mic, are you? No. Oh. Let's see. Can it be a double? Can it be a double? Whoa! 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 If he figures out that lane, I think I'm. If he figures out that lane, I'm gonna call the match. That lane is the key. Yeah. So either he either finally figured it out, or that's the only line he hasn't thrown it yet, and it just finally did something for him. One of the two. Finally got a strike on the right lane. Let's see if he can turn it into a turkey right here. That'd be huge for the game. Got a chance too. Oh, oh and no, an overhook. Checked up. Wow. Left the four six seven. <laughs> so bringing the game back to close again. As so, I've mentioned before, I don't. I feel like neither one of these two guys actually want to win this belt. I almost feel like the belt is cursed or something, and they, they're like, no, I don't want that. All right. Well, as we wait for Chris to get up on the approach, um, we had a football game going on that was 33 to nothing. Then it ended up being 36-36, going to overtime. And they have one minute left in overtime, and they're still tied. That's painful to watch, too. All right. Let's see. So Chris, Chris, Chris really needs a strike. Needs a strike. He's a strike. Sparrow ain't gonna do it. It's got a hook. Though. It's not gonna. No. Again, they're just not aware of how different the two lanes are. Um, hey, buddy. So Carly, and ask her how her sister. How do you know I have sister? <laughs> Just had my former tag team champion partner walk by. Uh, it's got a shot. Oh, didn't hook. So that puts him at 43 in the fourth. Uh, got him 20 back because of that big double by Kareem. That's, that double's turned out to be big because it gives him a 20 pin lead. So. So 20 pins, I mean. It's big right now. That's gonna, it forces Chris to strike. The 20 pins is like half the score they're getting. Total. I, I know, but that forces Chris to strike to have any shot. Because yeah. even if they just kind of do what they've been doing, yeah. by default, Kareem would win. That is definitely not the right ball on that lane. No. That ball hooked a bunch. Kareem looks ready to go right now. He looks like he is ready to go bowl. Well, yeah, he he wants to I think he wants to jump on this opportunity right now. Oh, that is a big chop. Damn. So as people might have heard, Nick Eisenhower just shot 824 after the 300. Solid bowling. Yes, I feel like Kareem kind of senses the blood in the water kind of thing. And this is it. Like he just throws a strike here, it's over. That's a pretty good shot. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that lane. I thought it was good. Please hit the space bar. Really hit the space bar and a hot counter on just your lane so that you have one of these lanes. Why, Aaron? What's up? So Kareem really needs to just mark here, not be giving away pins, but boom. I don't, oh, I didn't think that was going to hook. It didn't, but we got fortunate with the spare. All right. As long as he doesn't split, this match is over. I'm not even convinced that even if he splits, it's not over. Well, but it's one of those things where, kind of how we talked about Sub-Zero earlier, about they don't have 
bowlers to like help. We we ran into this at team rankings when we bowled insurgents. Like none of them had bowled there, and they all struggled. Got the seven out. Got the seven out. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> so we gotta get. My bowlers have very loud mouths because they probably are very inebriated. Yeah. Sorry about the loud yelling. All right, so he's up 30 now in fifth, and he just bears. That's, that's a. Well, okay. I almost called that way too early. <laughs> almost called that way too early. <laughs> Well, I, I, I feel bad for it. She's going to have a heart attack, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, like, damn. <coughs> oh. Try not to cough on Mike, but. Wow. That was actually lane. I thought he needed to throw that ball on, and it's still a dead straight. That's all I got to say about the surges earlier. Is they, is they, when we bowl them, uh, we beat them. Game six. Who won over here? Uh, Stephen Stanley swept Charles. Swept Barron? Yeah. Barron's a dish. Hey, he didn't want to bowl here. He did a good job of uh, constantly yeah, getting out of the boat. Yeah, Got a shot. Oh, wrapped a right around it. Right around it. Oh, that's a bad break. Yeah, that, that might be game. Might be match. What's One's in now. We got a former cap tag champ over here, Serrano Mitchell. Yes, sir. I'm also a former cap tag champ. I'm trying to get hey. up there with y'all pros. Hey, Ray, are you a former cap tag champ? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I was the first one to hold unlimited tag belts, the uncapped belts. I was the first one to hold them. Literally. The literally <laughs> hold just hold. I held literally. it. That's the only, like I said earlier, that's the only way a complete anarchy bowler gets to have a belt. That's where we get to hold it. That's right. Be in a position of power. That's right. And you can hold it and carry it with you until you give it to someone else. What now, we to be fair, the cap tag belts basically lived in my house for a year and a half. So that's why they smell like that. <laughs> Quite possible. You know what? I was wondering where that smell came from. <laughs> They took one month away from our house. I had to hold on. I had to hold that for four months, trying to figure out what the hell is this smell. I had them for seven. <laughs> they took a, a one month break from right. me, right. and then my wife and Rudy had them for um, seven months. The good Rudy, not the bad Rudy. The yes, good, the, the good the Rudy. Good Rudy. Yeah. The one that would absolutely own the other Rudy. That's right. Well, now I plan on trading in the cap belt to work on that unlimited belt. Or uncapped. Uncapped. Don't call it unlimited. I don't care what the belt I says. Know. Yeah. I, I saw that. I was like, yeah. Yeah, that was, um, oh, oh, a rap ten or well, a rap ish ten. I would blame it on the guy whose name is opposite of salt, but I don't know if that's actually true. I'm not salt? sure. Opposite of salt. Oh. Oh, well, Gordon Pepper. I was like, wait, pepper. who are you talking opposite about? Opposite of salt is pepper. pepper. Yeah. He ain't a doctor. He ain't a doctor. Yeah, he ain't a doctor. He ain't a doctor. <laughs> we ain't talking about Klaus. No. No. That. Yeah. We, we only got one doctor. Oh, I might hook. You got it. Oh. We've watched enough to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, this has been. So, oh, Chris has got to throw some strikes to get back in this match. He's not. I, I, I would, I would spend $20. But, yeah, neither one of them have seen a ball hook on 38 all day. Oh, that guy. Oh, yeah. Anytime you leave the 6 9 10, you know it's bad. Well, look. It, oh, it, it, it is currently 3-2 uh, cream. Yep. It looks like if he would just spare. It'd be close. Yeah, I think so. So, while you're over here. Yes, sir. How you doing, not, sir? Not, I was talking to this one. <laughs> oh, what am I, what am I here for? Who's Bubble. bowling that, uh, that cap tag match tomorrow? Two, two, I got two bowlers. You got two bowlers. What are their names? <laughs> Bowler A and Bowler B. Bowler, yeah, Bowler A. Yeah. Somebody from NWO. Exactly. They're going to have this jersey on. Yep. Do I get to know which one broke their ankle? Was uh, it Mermaid yeah. Man or Barnacle Boy? Uh, it was Garrett. My money, Barnacle Boy. I'm going to say, my money was on his wife. Very, very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. He stepped off a. Uh, he just went very hot. He was crazy. That's, I've, I've had two people. Oh, uh, uh, boy. This month. Okay, okay. 
needed a little bit more of that early on. A little bit of 29 back. You can check the database and see the rest is. <laughs> what? Yes. what? Right, Ray? You can check the database. Go do your homework. Because <laughs> I, know, I know it's Senzo. And Senzo. And Senzo, Senzo and Rob. And Senzo. <laughs> and Senzo. <laughs> and Rob. <laughs> Rob already told me. He's like, I'm here. <laughs> are we are we betting dinner? Wow, that lane is crazy. So, situation. Well, never mind. There's not a situation that requires that other guy to strike on the right lane. He's just not gonna. No. I will actually call this. If somehow Chris gets out of this game, he wins the match. Yeah, that would be a huge, a huge swing in momentum. But All he's right. gotta, he's gotta strike out in the tenth. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, well, not necessarily. Much, he, got, he got a mark. You don't have to mark. And get no, count. he's gotta strike but, out. Well, no, um, he's got a double to lock up the match. Oh, he's talking about locking up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kareem's got a double. But well, there's there's no way in the in the world he's going to get four in a row to finish his game. There's no. Well, way. I don't think he can double on that right lane. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And it's on the. And it's on the I don't right know lane. if either of them could double. I don't know if I could double on the right lane. No, that's that right lane is awful. That's a good shot. So one. I'm gonna call him like Mariano Rivera because he closes out the like he throws his best balls at the end when it's already over. It's not already over yet. But, I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, theoretically, but not mathematically. But we haven't been wrong on any of our theoreticals today. Valid. We, we, <laughs> we've nailed them all pretty early. Even the ones that the Animal Planet called. Like, yeah. We, 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 all these matches have been called. Step Discovery Channel's help. CNN's help. Well, that's a little touch left, but should be good. Ooh. Oh, okay, so mathematics so is there still there. is a chance. So you tell me there's a chance. That's what Noah, that's what our friend Noah likes to hear, that there's a chance. Yes. He likes it, just knowing that there's a chance. I mean, I'm going to say I don't think there no. is a chance, but there's a chance. I bet every dollar in my pocket right now that it does not happen. You see how many dollars do I have? No. Well, I, don't, I don't play side action, so I don't have a lot of dollars in my pocket, but I would bet my dollars in my pocket. Let me see. What ball is he throwing? Is the wrong one. Nope. Oh. That is it. Yep, that is it, folks. It was a tough throw. All right, the welterweight championship is retained. Is retained. We'll let Ray do the interview yeah, here. I'm going to be signing off yep. personally. Yep. It was great talking to everybody. Yep. Again, UBA all day. Yep. Pleasure, Ray. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got eight Y'all made bowling look very uh, painful and very difficult. Um, both of you struggled. I know neither one of you want to talk about your scores. Mm. I don't blame you. Um, tell me how you, how, wh why were you doing what you were doing? How do, how do you feel about as bad as the lanes were, about your ball changes, your selections, all that kind of stuff? Dude, every time I come out here to bowl, I bring more than enough pieces for every kind of condition. However, this right lane was killing me. It just wouldn't hook. Yeah. The speed, I had to lower the speed. I had to move up, move right. I was trying everything. She was in my ear. I had the headphone. She was talking me to death. She was picking balls. Nothing was working. Finally, at the end, I just said, fuck it, and, and just roll the ball. So, but Now, you know why she wanted you to remain the champ, right? 
Yeah, she's coming. She's coming. Yeah. And look, we're, we're talking about it on the feed. We're looking forward to it. We, we need it to all stay in place because we want to make sure one of you guys, one, one of the two of you, face the uh, Mega Bowl, you'll go against the North champ. I'm going to go ahead and let her have it. Look what? at her face. Look at her face. No, she, yeah. no. She, she wanted you to save those bad games for when she beat you. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm going to beat the shit out of her. I'm going to beat the dog shit. You know why, right? Because when I'm at home, she talk a hell of a lot again. Well, I, I enjoyed interacting with her today, and, and every time we and her talk on uh, social media and stuff, it's a great support system for you, and uh, it's good to good you pull out the win, man, and, and keep uh, keep it in the, our side of the North Carolina area, man. You know it. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, Ray. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, man. All right, yeah. now.